Hi, my name is Rolando and in this video I want to show you the process of printing using the silk screen. Um, it's a uh, an open screen method and I'm going to be making a uh, monotype printing and uh, let's get started. Here I, um, I'm just preparing a sketch of what I'm going to do. Um, this, uh, uh, this subject that I am I'm thinking of is a, um, uh, it's a, it's a vase with flowers. Um, very simple, very simple subject. Um, it's more of um, the composition that I'm thinking of rather than the subject. As you can see the drawing, the drawing is very, very loose. Um, it also translates to the silk screen, which is also very loose. And I'm using a uh, water soluble colored pencils, which is uh, basically a watercolor pencil. That's what that's what it is. Um, yeah, it's a quick sketch. That's why uh, the video is uh, slightly um, sped up because I just I just wanted to. Uh, get the feel of the uh, composition that I'm going to be doing on the screen. I often do this with my all my uh, printing uh, artwork. I do a, a, a series of watercolor first and I use that as my reference. So I do have a lot of watercolors. Um, some of them are tight, some of them are, are loose, but most of them um, it's, it's uh, just like this one. It's a, it's a quick sketch. It's on a sketchbook. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be on a watercolor paper. And here it is. Here's my, uh, my reference, my reference uh, sketch and the actual silk screen. The silk screen I'm going to be using is a um, 116 count, 116 mesh, I guess. Um, it doesn't have to be very tight because it's not a, a precision uh, poster or a uh, t-shirt or whatnot. So, so uh, here I'm applying the, um, the ink, it's water soluble ink. Being, uh, being very loose, I actually have to sketch, I have to really have to lay down the ink really quickly, fairly quickly. And uh, because of uh, because of this, it, you know, the drawing yeah, has to be spontaneous. The reason I have to apply the ink um, rather quickly is because I don't want the ink to dry on the screen. So it has to be done at least within uh, 10, 10 minutes. If I could do it less than 10 minutes, 10 minutes is actually uh, stretching it. So I have to make sure that the ink has um, uh, some some kind of a retarder. You could use some kind of retarder to extend the uh, the drying time of the ink. Um, the ink I'm using is actually uh, it's just a simple um, uh, water-based, uh, transparent-based uh, house paint with pure pigments mixed in. So I, I pre-mix this uh, this pigments and started using that as my ink. Here I'm laying out the yellow. I noticed that some of the um, some of the colors, some of the pigments dry faster than others. Like yellow and reds. They tend to dry out faster than than other pigments. So here I'm laying it out. I'm trying to cover as much of the screen as possible uh, because if I leave out some uh, some empty areas, it's you can see the squidgy marks on the print. Laying out some uh, some uh, final touches on the screen as it uh, dark. The dark um, swatches on the screen. I'm using burnt umber in that uh, 
on that area there. More of the greens. Again, it's just, uh, it's very, very loose. It's very loose. Um, it has to be quick. The brush I'm using is actually a silicone brush. It's not a, uh, it's not one of those uh, uh, hair brushes or uh, this typical brush. It's actually a, a rubber like silicone with um, like a comb like brush. I bought it uh, I bought it at an art store. Yeah. Almost done. So that's that's basically it's not gonna the, the my drawing here it's not gonna turn out the way it is printed. I try to cover as much as I can. Here I got a squeegee here. Make sure the squeegee is slightly damp. Wipe it once. Then it's done. Unfortunately, the um, the dark areas didn't come out as much, but it still it still turned out okay. I'm thinking of um, perhaps retouching it later, with, with you know, to make it more complete. But the way it is, it's it's okay. Again, it's spontaneous look. And thanks for watching.